Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I will teach you how you can use your uh, PS5 or Xbox controllers on seamless co-op Elden Ring Night Rain. Uh, I'm using the game from online fix. Most of you guys downloaded it from there, right? So your controller is probably not working. So what you need to do, you need to open up your folder where your game is installed. Then go into the game folder. Then you have to highlight all these files, copy them. Make sure you close down your Steam while doing it. Just shut down your Steam. You don't have your, you don't need your Steam running while you do this. By the way, don't worry. The method is uh, safe. You don't have to be worried about getting banned or anything. So once you are here, now just you just have to you know go to this PC, go to C drive, program files x86, Steam. Then you have to go in the controller underscore base folder, then templates folder and paste all the files over here. Now I already have them, so let's just replace this. Now you have to scroll down and find steam underscore input underscore manifest dot VDF. So we're going to copy this file. Now what we need to do, we need to go back to the main steam folder again, and we have to create a folder named controller underscore config. If you don't have this folder right here, you have to basically create this one. So just create this folder, open this up, and then you have to uh, paste this file here and name it game actions game underscore actions underscore 480 because that's the app id for uh, space war so i already have done that so let's just delete this once again make sure you copy all these files copy all these steam input from steam input to all the way to steam manifest copy them go into your steam op basically this pc drive c program files x86 steam controller base templates paste them here after that, steam input manifest, copy this one, go back, create a controller underscore config folder, paste the file here and name it a game underscore actions underscore 480. All right. So now you've done all this. Now there's a, there are two things. The Basically, if you have an Xbox controller, you are pretty much good to go. You don't need to do anything. If you have an PS5 controller, either you can use DS4 Windows or dsx right here to emulate it as xbox 360 controller but i have a better solution for you guys so i'm just gonna show you how you guys can uh, just run it without uh, needing to uh, needing of any emulation or whatever so let's just launch steam i will show you how i did that so once the steam is launched you have to uh just basically minimize it because we have to launch the seamless co-op now so use NRSC launcher, run as an admin. All right. So now the game gonna launch. My controller is working fine, by the way. It's like, how do I show you? It let it load first. So I have my controller like running absolutely nicely on this thing. I, I was facing issues since last day. So once you are in dial learning night train, look at that. It's running absolutely nicely. So now what you need to do, just uh, press shift plus tab to open your uh, basic uh, layout stuff. And you have to click on this controller tab. Open, you probably have this disabled like that. Okay, so make sure to enable steam input first. Then click on current button layout. After this, you have to go on search and search for night train. Okay, so you will probably see something like this. You, there will be a template with your name on it. If not, you just have to like select anything that says Space War hyphen Elden Ring Night Rain official settings. Okay, you just have to select that and then click on apply layout. That's what you need to do. Do this only if you have like a PS4 or PS5 controller or maybe a PS3 controller, you have to do this. Then just close this off and now your controller is absolutely working nicely on this thing. So now we're gonna just do continue. So as you can see, we are loading in the game now. So that's it for the quick tutorial on how you can use your controllers. So if you have the game from online fix to use and play seamless co-op and it's not gonna get you banned. Don't worry about it because we're not actually changing any of the specific DLL files or anything. We're just applying some basic templates. 
so that's it for the video guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a thumbs up on this and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content coming very soon and i'm gonna see you in the next one have a good day also follow me on twitch because i stream every single day on it so i will see you there hopefully and if you want to play together join my discord server link is in the description anyways have a good one everybody